I'm here in Appleton, Wisconsin with the Wicked Tour, and I'm going to use SpectraFoo's transfer function to time align a couple speakers. I'm going to time align my side delay and front fill speakers together. First thing I need to do is go into my speaker management system, and I'm going to mute the side fill so I can get a reading just with the front fills. Now I'll go back into SpectraFoo and I'm going to use the pink noise generator in the console to run through the speakers. I have my signal generator here on the left of this meter and the microphone output on the right. You want these as matched as possible so I'm going to turn down my generator feed. Now, once you've got those pretty close, you go here and compute delay. And as you can see, SpectraFoo has a good clean impulse here at 26.8 milliseconds. You get your reading in milliseconds, feet, and meters. Now, I'm going to go back to my speaker management and mute the front fills, unmute the side fills, Go back into SpectraFoo. I'm just going to move this out of the way for the moment. Now, as you can see, my response is a little bit louder than my source, so I'll adjust that. That's a little better. And again, I will compute the delay. And there's a nice clean impulse there. I'll mute the pink noise. So now we have our initial on the top and our secondary impulse on the bottom. And I will do this in milliseconds. So I'll take 26.8 milliseconds. And you want to subtract the second delay from that. So that's. 17.7 and that gives me 9.1 milliseconds so I will go back to compass and put in 9.1 milliseconds and that's in both of my left and right side fills now when I go back into SpectraFoo I'm going to clear out this delay now I have my pink noise again and when I hit compute delay, you can see my initial delay from the front fill was 26.823 milliseconds. And my new delay time from the side fill speaker is 26.885. I would definitely take that. So again, you pick your original source, find the delay time to that, mute that, turn on your secondary speaker, uh, delay ring or a remote speaker, shoot the delay time using the same microphone, subtract second reading from the first, that's your delay offset, put that into your delay and you should be ready to go.